Welcome to the Leaving San Diego Show. We're all about where people are moving, investing, or buying a second home. Today, we're in Dallas, Texas, where we're going to talk about real estate investment. Our tour guide, Todd Frank, the Greystone Investment Sales Group. Let's see why Todd thinks Dallas is one of the best investments in the country. Also, stay to the very end. You can check out one of his listings. Come on. See ya. You were talking about your 50 unit places. You know, uh, what does somebody get? And of course, I know different areas and all that, but let's talk about some of your listings. Uh, um, what are they going for? Sure. What, what are those? Um, you know, like a value add, uh, the one that I was thinking of before, I have a 72 unit property that I'm going to be bringing to market probably next week. Uh, that will be, uh, we'll be asking 45,000 a unit, C class property, C class area. Um, you know, it, it has a lot of upside and value. You know, other properties within that submarket trade, you know, probably 60000 a unit as stable. So, you know, it has a good $15,000 a unit upside potential. That's uh, kind of the low end of the market. I mean, I can, uh, I, like I said, you know, we've traded at 250000 a unit for um, nicer properties. We're, you know, a $51 million you know, 244 unit property that we had underwritten recently. I mean, I, everything from even well, well renovated properties in um, you know, a great kind of core location in Dallas, we could call it East Dallas, um, large portfolio uh, out there that I'm, you know, looking at. Uh, right now, the average when I initially underwrote it was about 140,000 a unit. I think, you know, we're, Owners working on refining some things. I think we'll get to 160,000 a unit. Uh, that gives you an idea of the breadth of like, hey, I can come in here. I can really add value. I can in that that particular owner. One of the it's a um, one of them is from California, and they make it California cool and sexy. And you know they've added quite a bit of value to their portfolio. Um, so. Uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunity if you're willing to get your hands dirty and dig in out here. That sounds 45 a unit. Holy moly. You know, <laughs> you know that's, oh my goodness, that sounds fantastic. Um, so now how quickly do things rent? What's the vacancy rent out, rate out there? Uh, it rents pretty much if, if you make it ready, it rents. I mean, you know, we have a pretty tight market. I'll you know, kind of run through average vacancy rates for you. I pulled, um, you know, if it's an older product, we say, set, you know, pre-1970s construction, um, your average occupancy is 92.3%. You know, 70s is 93.1%. 80s construction is 93.6%. 90s is 95%. Uh, 2000s is, you know, because so of all moving. the new construction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 2000s, you know, because of all of the new uh, inventory that we've added to the market, we add about 25,000 units a year in DFW to uh, our stock. And then about 5, 7, 8 of stock. Uh, you know, those have a higher vacancy because they're still in lease up, uh, but it, it has been trending up and they're at 87.9% uh, average occupancy, so about 88. That's it for this episode. Good job, Todd. Check back with us tomorrow. Todd's going to be going into more investments there in Dallas. If you have any real estate questions or concerns, give me a shout. If you're a commercial, residential, or vacation real estate professional, give me a shout about being on the show. This is the Leaving San Diego Show. I'm Jack Rowell. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, love you. Bye.